Right, subframe. So, I'm going to strip that down now. We've got a bearing to replace because one of the new bearings had loads of play. Um, as you, I just showed you, it's done a couple of welds on it to tidy it up. So we're going to strip it off all its suspension parts. Uh, we're then going to clean up any welds that need cleaning up, grinding back, uh, wire wheel in, and then we're going to paint this. And then once Max is back from Ireland, we'll take this subframe um, with the hubs back to Ket Max's, give him a hand with the paintwork and the bodywork, like he needs it, um, fit this back on. So that's good. So we've got some fresh rubbers for that as well, because the old ones are really tired. So we've got rubbers that go on the turrets that go on there. They were really old tired ones, and these go on the big bolts that go on the top that go from the other side. So that's handy. So we're going to use this kit. I found this on um, well, a friend of these spotted this on Facebook, which is pretty cool. So this is a, a fancy old kit that um, used for a different few things, but basically it will compress the rubber spring in there for me to take this out. Otherwise, it's an absolute pig of a job. We also need to narrow this down a little bit because this actually hits the gearbox. Ooh. That's it then. All put back together, ready to go on the car. Finally got some stainless bolts where I want them. And there's a couple of little tiny things. I need to just shorten these down. Um, no real bother. I'm gonna put the brake lines on until it's back. Everything's trimmed as it needs to be to get a bit of clearance to the gearbox. Everything's on as it should be. So yeah, that special tool you saw me using, that was invaluable. Fantastic, all painted up. So we're gonna put it in the car now, take it over to Max's. We're about to go into second lockdown, I think, with COVID, so I need to get that to him uh, now so he can move the car around, paint it, and then he can bring it back, drop it off, and I can build it. The idea was to build it with mates, but not going to happen, I don't think, uh, for everyone's safety, obviously. So that's done. Other things done in the meantime, I cut the um, 
panels out of uh, sort of like a roll you can buy of mud flat basically for all the trims and inside there is the heater box as well which I've just cleaned up put a new matrix in nothing assigned to see so I didn't show you basically so that's cool that's done end of this episode hopefully Max will just show us a video of him putting this in or damaging it or bending it or cutting it half to fit it <laughs> otherwise be out <laughs>